throw it off. Oh, can you see my tag? Shh. I'm saying vibe way too much. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison, if this is your first time here. In today's video, we are talking about styling for fall. I'm going to be sharing with you guys basically what is in my closet for this season. The way that I would describe my style, honestly, is really all over the place. I don't like to stick to one type of look. I like to have a big range, a big variety. I like to change things up. I like my look to be sexy. Definitely, it's always some type of sexy appeal happening. My style is super fun and flirty it's just about whatever I feel good in is is what I wear and what I walk out the door in. I am just all about the flannel you could wear flannels with this type of look right here jeans and a crop top or bodysuit they're not too thick well I guess it depends on what type of flannel you buy because there are really thick flannels out there but all the ones that I have are not thick at all I don't buy women flannels I do not shop in the women's department for flannels I shop in the men's department Department. I feel like they just fit better, they look better, it's just a completely different vibe. Here is one of the flannels on. I know like the angle's not very good so you can't really tell. Let me just show you what shoes I have on. It's just like baggy but you're wearing something tight so you can show off your curves. Now the size of flannels I buy for men's is large. I think I have one or two that are extra large, but for the most part I just buy large and keep them at this little baggy area. Another big staple in my closet this season is going to be jean jackets. I like cropped jean jackets. I like regular normal women size and I love men's jackets denim jackets just really quickly to kind of show you this cropped denim jacket that I have I love this jacket I think it's a size large in it it's not a men's uh, jacket you showing off your waistline you're showing your little booty and even with these boots yes so right here is a men's jacket and it is a size large. I do like the oversized look. If I'm wearing some short shorts with this, it's going to cover the shorts and then who knows what I'm wearing if you're in the back of me. That's kind of my vibe. Moving on, the next jacket that I have in my closet for fall is going to be a blazer. Here's a really cute like mauve blazer. Still has the tags. Most of my jackets, you guys, still have the tags on. On them because I don't really go anywhere. Blazers I feel are kind of like a staple all year long. Next up we have a trench coat. You need some type of trench coat. I don't like thick trench coats. This is a very thin one. This is a plaid. Simple. Gray. So that's it for the jackets. Let's move on to tops. Not a lot going on with tops. Body suits, crop tops, that's where I'm living. Uh, that's pretty much where I live all year long and it doesn't really change going into fall. This is obviously a bodysuit right here. We have a little spaghetti strap. Also going to be wearing, you know, halfway turtleneck crop tops. This is super cute with a pair of jeans, high waist jeans, belt, boom. Maybe a little hat. We'll get to hats in a little bit. And then just simple little crop tops. You have to have a nude skin tight crop top in your closet. All year long. Next up, bottoms. What do we wear? So simple, very basic. Jeans, high waist jeans for me. All the way. Also shorts. Super into shorts. I live in Southern California. Uh, it's probably almost 90 degrees today, I think. Something along those lines. We're still wearing shorts. I like long shorts like these. I also like super short Daisy Duke type shorts. Not gonna lie, I love me a good pair of leggings. These are Capri leggings right here. Can wear them with so many different things. Dress it up to go out or also dress it down for something simple and casual. Moving on to skirts living for skirts in 2020. I'm a mini skirt type of gal. I definitely have a longer, you know, little past the knee skirt vibe. Actually, it's right at the knee because this is a high waist. Pretty much all my stuff is high waist. Now that we have covered the clothing part of our styling for fall, we're going to move into how do we accessorize. Accessorizing is really what completes your look, I feel like, and most of the time, more is more for me. So, you yeah. know. Right now, I am into layering. Love layering necklaces, you know, almost like a choker size, mid-size, and then a longer length. 
I love rings too. Have at least two or three on each hand. And I'm an arm party girl. I've been into hoops the past few weeks, so I've been kind of going with those. You heard it here first. We got belts on the menu. Yes, we are into belts. Belts can just take your look to like the next level. When you feel like you're missing something, especially if you're wearing something high-waisted. Have you guys seen these cute little purses dangling over here? Because this is another vibe. Oh my god, aren't these just so cute? I also love pops of color, so if I'm gonna be wearing all solid neutral colors, I might be wearing something like this to kind of throw a... We also are using a bag like this. This is like the everyday bag. All my essentials are in here, and then when I'm getting ready for the night, I'll grab my little... and then fill that up with the essentials that I need for the night, and... We're on our way. Let's not cancel out hats either. Fedoras is on the menu as well. Now we're into like the boho vibe, you know. Let's talk shoes. I am into boots. I'm wearing these with skirts, shorts, leggings, biker shorts. I'm wearing these with everything. And then these right here, my all black ones that obviously go with everything. 100% need a pair of black stiletto heels in your closet. These are a staple. We are not going to forget about the booty with the stiletto heel as well. You worn with just about anything as long as you feel good in it. Last step over the knee boots these are a stiletto heel as well most actually all of my over the knee boots are a stiletto heel these are actually like my slut boots <laughs> okay here is the first outfit i'm going to show you guys so here is the mob skirt leather fake leather whatever you want to call it oh i haven't zipped it all the way up well i'm not going to whatever it does go all the way up, okay? You're looking good. It's covering all the right places, hugging all the right curves. Do we want to see what it looks like with a belt? Do we really want to take it there? Of course we do. So here is the belt. Let me take a look right here. For some, you might think it's a little too much. It just gives you that little that you need, you know? Like, I didn't come here to play games. I could actually wear, like, a leather jacket with this or, like, a black denim jacket. I'm picking to wear a blazer with it. Look how sexy that is when I turn around because you have no idea what I'm actually wearing. So, boom. Leather skirt, blazer jacket, over-the-knee boots, cute little belt, the same jewelry, bossy. Little bossy. The basic outfit has entered the chat room. Yes, what do we have here? White tank top. It's a crop top, but it's a little bit longer. Light wash, skinny jeans. My boots. Is the look already elevated just a little bit because of our cute little mini belt that we have? Our layered necklaces, our arm party, and the hoops, of course. Oh, I had to put my hair up because you guys, it's literally like 90 degrees out here. Here we are with our flannel. You know what? You could even go like this if you're trying to show that us, you know? <laughs> I have the sleeves rolled up just a little bit or you can keep it long. I just love how it's baggy. It's almost like a tomboy vibe. You go like this and you're just super sexy, like all sex vibes. What did I just say? Not sex vibes, sexy. Sexy vibes. Okay? not trying to <laughs> this is the bag we are choosing to wear with this outfit even with the little crossbody action this is how I'm feeling it actually we're back in all black like we left something I have my capri leggings on my stiletto heel on and the reason why I really like this outfit is because I wear the heels with it feeling super sexy. I don't have to put forth much effort to be feeling great for a night on the town wearing something like this. So we have the belt on. Now we're looking the same as we were before. It's just a little, a little bit of vibes, mood, vibes, money, honey. The bag we would wear with this is definitely going to be the black one. I would actually probably put 
this on and then put the jacket on. I think for the sleeves, I'm gonna roll the sleeves up just like this. Just gives it a different little touch to the mix and then you can see my nails, so we love that. If you wanna feel really sexy and just like, oh, I have the jacket but I don't really need it, but it looks cute, you're just gonna, you know, throw it off the shoulders. Just remember, you can wear anything that you want to. As long as you feel good in it, that's what matters. Styling is all about the person. It's all about what makes you feel good. And if you feel good, then girl, that's your style. And that's what's important. If you guys have any questions on where I get my clothes, I am a bargain shopper. I do not like to spend a lot of money on clothes. Yes, I like good quality, but I'm not out here buying designer stuff. I would rather get multiple items for the same price as one item. The places that I shop, in person are like Marshalls. This denim jacket I got at Marshalls. A lot of my flannels I get at Marshalls. Th these two skirts I also shop at like Windsor. Online stores I shop at Fashion Nova. I have a love and hate relationship with Fashion Nova. I also shop at like Pretty Little Thing and Hot Miami Styles. I ultimately try to buy affordable clothes so that I can have lots of them. We have pretty much covered every single one of my essentials for styling for fall. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you have a favorite one of these outfits. If there's something that you see that you want me to style multiple different ways, let me know that as well. I'll make a whole nother video if you want to see this denim jacket eight different ways. I will make a video for you. I'm hoping after you watch this video maybe you have some more ideas on how you are going to elevate your fall styling game. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Make sure you guys go follow me on all my socials. I'll have everything linked down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Did I forget anything?